Now, let's turn to some of the questions involved in studying occupations. For every type of work has its disagreeable side. No occupation has ever satisfied the worker all the time, but the pleasant thing should greatly outweigh the unpleasant if you're seriously considering that particular occupation. You will now want to ask some questions concerning them. What does the worker do? Is the occupant crowded? What are the starting points and lines of promotion? What are the future prospects for earnings and advancement? What general and special education is required? Where can it be secured? What will this education cost? What will it cost to get established in this occupation? What are the physical requirements? Is it apt to be detrimental to my health? Would I be happy in this work? Earth-moving machines are designed for safety, but they're big enough to hide a man. In this absent-minded state, he unconsciously starts to steer, jams his foot on the differential lock, and the machine takes off. speed, I think you can bolt right to your engine. Can you throw in the clutch? Well, I don't know about that, but let's see if I've got one.
Just as a building must be built on a carefully planned foundation, so must your life be built on careful plans. Let us see if we can plan the foundation of a successful career for you. Improper blocking and failure to block are major causes of crushing accidents. Hey. We're dealing with enormous weight and we should never depend upon hydraulics alone to hold it up. I'll show you something back here. Ted, the position this truck bed was in without these locking pins in and you working underneath the truck bed and it had failed, you'd have had it. So these pins should be in place as such. Now, it's always important to look out for the other guy. Safety is always in the hands of people on the job. Safety demonstration. 